Come on in, come on in. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the um the good and the bad about trading. Okay, the good and the bad about trading and pretty basic and uh, fundamental for those of you who are interested in trading and investing but don't know whether this is the right thing for you or not um yes so uh i like to share that with you uh i normally like to share the bad things first so i'm going to share with you what are the bad things about trading which you do not know a lot of people would will tell you that it's pretty easy money you know you put your money in and take your money it's actually a matter of fact 90 percent of people out there actually maybe not 90 percent not have there's no centralized data to show it's 90 percent or 80 percent but majority of people who invest or trade the financial markets actually don't succeed and actually lose money to the markets right so um without further ado come on in come on in uh uh if you guys don't mind, type a one in the comment so that I know that you, you can hear me. Don't mind. Please. Thank you. Um, and also click on the like and love button if you can. Okay. Uh, and I will get started very soon. Right. Okay. Just in case uh, you are not hearing me or things like that, uh, type, type in the comments one to show that uh, you can hear me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Xiao Kim Singh. Thank you. Thank you. I can see quite a few of you, right? Okay. So, okay, let's get started. Um, basically, let me show you my screen. Okay. Uh, just a disclaimer. Okay. Um, just a disclaimer. Huh? Just a disclaimer to show you that um, this is uh, nothing here that I say is about offering you to trade or things like that. Okay, this is just a disclaimer. Read it yourself. Okay, but uh, basically, it, just to show you that everything that I share is just for educational purposes, illustration purposes, and it's not meant to. Uh, uh induce you to trade or invest right so what are the good things and the bad things about uh trading right so let me go to the next slide okay can i just yeah okay never mind okay let's just do it this way next slide i want to share with you is um over here number one uh trading is actually not a zero-sum game well when i say that is because um if you look at it trading is actually uh if you buy a stock at ten dollars and you want to sell it at ten dollars actually you lose money okay so it's not a level playing field whereby uh, you buy at $10, you sell at $10, you, by right, you shouldn't lose a single cent. But because we have to pay commissions to the uh, brokerage and uh, uh, there are some costs involved, we actually lose money if we buy at $10 and sell at $10. So trading is not a level playing field for all of us, right? And because of that, it's not a zero-sum game. And because of that, it's the odds are actually stacked against us for us to succeed in trading. Okay, and a lot of people do not understand this. They thought, no, I just put my money, the price goes up, I make money. Even if the price goes up, you make money, some of the money is deducted to pay for commissions and things like that. So you actually get less than you are supposed to get, right? So that's why uh, this is a bad thing about trading. Okay, another bad thing about trading is that uh, a lot of people, you know, think that, oh, I just put my money, the money, uh, the, the market goes up, I make money. But in terms of trading and in terms of investing, slightly different because investing, you just have to know about the, a lot of people say, how come investors can make, uh, uh, have a better percentage of succeeding than trading? 
Okay, so I divert a little bit. It's because in terms of investing, they don't have to care about timing. Okay, if they find something good, like for example, a stock, they will just buy. They find something good like crude oil or gold, they will just buy. They don't care. Okay, if gold or crude oil keep going down, they will just hold it. Right, even the stock that they buy, if it goes down, they just hold it because they are investors. They are supposed to hold it and wait for the long term gain. Okay. And because of that, they don't care about timing. Okay. And because of that, their success rate is much slightly higher than traders. Just slightly higher than traders. In terms of traders, we are more uh, looking at the momentum. And because we are looking at the momentum, we need to know the direction of it going up or down. At the same time, we need to get the timing right. And the timing part is most, most of the time the killer for a lot of traders. Okay, a lot of traders uh, will say, you know, I know this is going up, but my timing was wrong. I get in, I get stop out, I, 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 I took the loss and I got out. After I got out, then it went to the direction that I want. That is because as traders, apart from knowing the direction, we need to really have a good hold of the timing to get in as well. Okay, of course, investors also like to time the market well, but normally investors are looking more of a long term view. If they don't time the market well, well, they just wait, right? For traders, it's slightly different. So, for in terms of trading, apart from knowing the direction, we need to know the timing as well. So, it's a two, two hurdle kind of thing. So, it's not something that uh, we just say, you know, definitely you'll go up. I just put in my money, but it keeps going down, you will eat into your capital also. Okay. So that's the bad thing about uh, uh trading. And the next one uh could be good thing or bad thing is it should be a good thing. I, I would say the markets don't care about who you are, uh what you do, how smart you are, do you have a degree, do you have a PhD, do you even uh are you black skin, white skin, yellow skin, or whatever, long hair, short hair, fat or thin, handsome, pretty, ugly, the market actually don't care, which is, to me, is a good news for us. It's a good thing for us, right? So we, uh, the market, don't even, in fact, we are talking about financial markets. The, the markets don't even care whether you have a lot of capital to trade with or very little uh, capital to trade with, okay? How much funds you have to trade with. The market actually don't care. The only thing that the market cares is that whether you can take money from it or not. That's it, okay? So if you do have the skill set, then definitely nothing should be stopping you, whether it's your skin color, your appearance, or whatever it is. In fact, if you have the skill set, the strategy to go about trading the financial markets, a, sm a small account, a small capital can grow into a big one as well, right? So uh, I would say this is the good thing about the uh, uh, financial markets. It doesn't care about your credentials because in a job market or in, in, in other areas of our life, we know that in, especially in the job market, people look at your academics, look at your results, look at your accomplishment. The markets don't care about your accomplishment, your experiences. The market actually don't care. Okay. So this is, to me, is a really good thing for me and also for a lot of people who want to get started. Right. So apart from that, there's freedom. Okay. Freedom, time freedom, and also money freedom. If you have the skill set in place. Okay. Well, I'll talk more about that later on. But basically, uh, a lot of people, it is a good and bad thing because uh me i for a full-time trader like me i can tell you there's time freedom where i can schedule my own time but a lot of my time like maybe six hours per day at least is looking at the financial markets so if you are coming into trading and thinking that okay i can just spend one two hours and make big bucks um uh, likely it won't be the case okay i uh, i'm sorry to dash your hopes but most likely it won't be the case, right? Because um, the financial markets don't work this way. If you want to get good daily uh, profits, 
then you need to be monitoring the market somehow or other, spending like maybe three to six hours per day. Not a lot of hours compared with your paid job, which is eight to nine hours, but still some hours to, uh, uh, involved in trading the mar markets. Of course, investors is different. Investors, then you don't need to. Okay. So, uh, and uh, the next one is high net profits. High net profits, there's a um, caveat to this. Uh, you have a big account, then definitely you have high net profits. If you have a small account, you can still have high net profits based on the percentage of your account. Okay, but here's the thing. If we do not have a risk management strategy in place, uh, we can have high net profits. We can also have high net losses as well. So it's a double-edged sword actually. Okay, so uh, uh, take note of that uh, because I don't want you to think that, you know, Trading is all high net profits. There are losses as well. Okay, people just don't talk about it, right? So next is a uh, low capital outlay. Like I said earlier, you can start small and grow big. Okay, in fact, for forex, the entry level is like five hundred to a thousand dollars. You can get started. Okay, and grow your wealth from there if you want to. Of course, in Singapore context, maybe we should start a slightly higher, uh, much higher lah. Right. So, but basically, it has a very low entry point for a lot of people who wants to get into the game. Okay, not encouraging that because uh, you really need to educate yourself. If not, you are just uh, paying tuition fee and just giving money to the markets. Low tech. Okay, basically, you need a computer, internet, and some funds, and you can just just get started trading using your laptop through your platform, trading platform, brokerage. Right through your broker, lock into your broker, and you can just trade. Train more than twenty years ago when I just started. Okay, uh, there's no such thing as uh our brokerage have website where we can lock in and do our trades. So what we do is actually we will we will call the broker. Uh, there will be a representative uh, for us, and we'll call my broker. And I still remember my broker name is uh from Lim and Tan, uh and. Uh, my broker uh, is a remiser uh, called Rose. So I will call Rose and say, no, I want to buy this uh, store. Uh, what is the name, things like that. And she will say, okay, now price is this. Do you want to get in now? If you get in now, you will get this price, things like that. So that's how it works. Okay, Or I can call and say, no, I want to wait for this uh, $3, instead of $3.50, things like that. Okay. But of course, technology has involved now. You just need a laptop, internet, some funds. You can do it, right? The next is uh, uh, is recession proof and crisis proof, especially when uh, COVID nineteen just started. Okay, what I see is that uh, a lot of lives, uh, people's lives, has been impacted and affected. But if you ask me, uh, my life didn't change much, except that my hair I didn't get to cut on the last day of uh, the CV when they when they announced. Uh, that very day, they announced, uh, uh, our PM announced that uh, even cutting hair uh, will be forbidden, right? That very night until 12 a.m., uh, I heard a lot of long queues, so I decided not to cut my hair because my hair is pretty short. Also. Uh, but uh, right now, as of now, we can cut our hair, but I, I, I'm thinking like maybe another few more days when the crowd is not so long queue, then I go and cut, right? But Coming back to this, my life did not change much. It's because whether there's COVID-19 or whether there's a recession or whether there's a crisis, I can just log into my computer and look at the markets and trade, right? This is especially very good for us because why I say this is because for those of you who haven't started learning the, uh, the techniques, the strategy, the skill set to trade, uh, I, I really encourage you to do so. Why? Because there's a recession. No doubt about it. It, it's a, it may be a global recession or at least 50% of all the countries in the whole world will be in recession this year. Okay, no doubt about it. Okay, Singapore won't escape it. I don't think Malaysia will escape it. I don't think any country will escape it. Okay, uh, so Overall, a global recession is very likely. And we all know recession, there will be job cuts, business will be affected, 
real estate will maybe even drop if the global recession is very serious okay uh how serious is it i don't know but uh, i roughly know but uh, i don't want to talk about it here uh but i will talk about it in another facebook live but basically uh i would say recession in singapore or even global recession is is like if i put a percentage to it it's like 70 to 80 uh, percent i'm quite sure that the recession is there already. It, it's not announced only but it will be it will be there the job jobs will be cut in fact jobs are already cutting now if you know so trading is actually a very good life life skill i would call it a life skill that if you have it uh, it can help you a lot okay so uh yeah good thing about trading is this another thing is uh, the last point is uh, predictable results okay when i say predictable results is long-term predictable predictable results as in uh in terms of one year two years we know that we will have consistent profits and returns or consistent income from trading okay but the bad thing about trading is that it is also unpredictable unpredictable uh, random individual results in the sense that each, in each trade that we put in we do not know whether we can make money or lose money okay uh, uh that is the re reality of it and and a lot of people can tell you now this one definitely can make uh i can tell you no one can be that sure lah. okay so uh, uh unless it's a long-term kind of view then it's possible like i have a long-term kind of view on crude oil which you can see from my previous post right uh i'm pretty bullish on crude oil so uh for those of you who have saw my facebook live that past two days or things like that i was on crude oil uh, uh going up and gold going up and uh, i have shown you uh some of the results and things like that so I want to really show you something that uh, 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 about uh, gold. Gold has already went up. Okay, as as I talked about it two days ago on Monday. Okay, so today is Wednesday. So um, gold has went up, and um, uh, the U.S. stock market uh, stock indexes has went down. As I said on Monday, you can take a look on my Mondays. Uh, uh, uh so-called forecast prediction okay and and also i have traded it so i like to show you the results here okay i'm not sure you can see it or not okay, maybe i can enlarge this and just hide this it must be don't need this anymore okay, uh, maybe i can show you here okay. you see type one if you can see it Type one if you can see it. Okay. Type one if you can see it. This is gold. Uh. Okay, gold uh 460. If you look at it, yesterday it was 100 over dollars of profit. Okay. And uh, today uh, you can see the date uh, is 13th of May. Right? 13th of May. So it's something that we just traded. 13th of May. We just uh like today we traded a uh, pound USD, a uh, forex pair. And we made another five hundred and thirty dollars on this one, right? And uh, if, if if just to give you a context uh, because uh, why I say is unpredictable individual results and and uh, predictable long term profits is because we limit our losses. You can see from here, losses from here is just like two hundred, hundred plus okay especially here right especially here euro japan is 100 over dollars of loss usd japan is 200 over 212 dollars of loss okay and it's just like uh also today okay just today now. okay so basically a loss loss then profit profit so one day like four trades right one day four trades, uh, two losses, two profits, and why I say is predictable long term income, consistent income is because of this. Individually, the trades we don't know whether we we'll lose, but we can actually, we can actually limit our losses. In this case, limit our losses to a small amount, like what you see here, 
And at the same time, when we are in profit, we maximize our profit like what you can see here. Okay. So you can see that my profits is almost double of my losses. Okay. So meaning what? Meaning every one winning trades, my profits is double of my losing trades. So I can take two losing trades and one winning trade and I still break even. Okay. What? Uh, two losing trades, one winning trade, I can still break even as you can see. The gold trade, I mentioned since Monday, I hold until now. I make a four hundred dollars. Okay, uh, so meaning today I only make like three trades la. If you theoretically counting it, close trades is four trades. But trading today, opening a trade, starting a trade today is three trades. All right, you uh, uh Euro Japan I lost like hundred plus. Let me see how much. Hundred eighty eight. Yeah, so it's hundred eighty eight. So Euro Japan is hundred eighty eight. Today yeah, they did today. So 188 Euro Japan, USD Japan is 212. Okay. And my pound USD more is $530 of profit. Okay, it's $530. Which means what? Which means I easily one winning trade cover the two losses and still make money. And not more. and my goal, I actually traded. And close it and still make another extra $460. Right. So, what I'm trying to say is uh, uh, coming back to this, right? Coming back to this predictable results long term wise, because day by day we make that small, uh, we make sure we limit our losses to small amounts when we lose and maximize our profit by doubling, tripling our profits. Okay. In that cat sense, even we have a low accuracy of 40 percent win rate we can still be profitable that's why predictable long-term income consistent income but at the same time unpredictable random individual results okay that's that's how it goes in terms of trading can be good can be bad because a lot of people cannot take the fact that you know i do one trade i don't know whether i win or lose but one thing you need to know is if you have a strategy risk management in place, you can actually limit your losses when you're wrong to a small amount. Maximize your profit when you're right. Like what I showed you just now. So I uh, hope this, this helps you. Uh, since you guys are here, I if you have any questions, you can ask me and type in the comments. I can answer them. Okay, uh, whatever questions that you have. If not, uh, I will end here. Don't mind. You, you can just ask me anything, right? Uh, like Jeffrey here, totally agree with you. Okay. Okay. Jeffrey here, four winning trades out of 10 will give uh, 2R, 200% of your risk, right? If our R to R, uh, risk to reward is 2 is to 1. Definitely agree with that. Okay. Uh, so, that's why I say um, uh, long term wise, we know we are going to have profits. We will not be losing. Okay. It's how much we will make. Question to, we should be asking ourselves is how much we should we are going to make. Okay. Market very bad. Maybe we break even for the whole year, which happened to me before. Okay. But a lot of times we are overall long term consistently profitable. Okay. Because we limit our losses when, uh, when we lose. We maximize our profits when we are right. Okay. At the same time, trying our best to increase our accuracy. Okay. That one is a, a little bit harder. Okay. So uh, for those of you who uh, have any questions, uh, you may be re re watching the recording. Type in the comments. Uh, in my next Facebook Live, I'll try to answer all your questions if you ask me in the comments. Right. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, I can see that most of you do not have any questions for me. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether you guys are shy or things like that. You can just ask me anything. I will just answer you straight away, whether it's options, stocks, or uh, commodities, or what I see the market, things like that. But what I see in the market, I already told you, like uh, on Monday, take a look at my Monday. Uh, uh, how can people contact you? Okay, I'm looking at the uh, comments. Uh, I'm just putting it on the, my screen. 
how can people contact me uh just go to my facebook group okay which is what you see here and uh or, or go to my online guru trader slash book okay get my book uh is a book that is free selling at amazon for 48 dollars right uh, i'm giving it to you free just cover shipping and handling uh, inside you will see the strategies that i apply the techniques that i use to approach the stock market the uh, forex market or even the commodities market uh, apart from that you can actually contact us through my facebook page or even email to admin at online guru trader.com So Boon Soon, like to learn the criteria to close pound USD trade, though TP not met. Okay, this one is one of my students. So uh, basically, uh, is more of, how to say, the TP I set a slightly higher in the first place. Okay, I set a slightly higher because I suspect it will go to that price okay that's the reason okay another reason is because it's already almost 300 percent risk to reward okay it's the most 300 risk percent risk to real and just happened i'm going to do this facebook live for almost how, how long is it now <laughs> uh 40 42 minutes 30 minutes almost 30 minutes so i i don't want to say you know uh i didn't uh, look at the markets and things like that because this is a very short-term trade. Do they go in? Do they go out? Intraday trading. So uh, uh, if I have a longer-term position like a swing trade or things like that, I I would leave it and wait for it to TP uh, hit my TP is target profit, right? So I will wait for it to hit my target profit. But basically, pound USD has already reached three hundred percent. I don't want don't want uh, later I go away. Even if my alerts, price alerts, tell me that I should get out or things like that, I'm doing Facebook Live. I cannot just say, okay, I, I stop the Facebook Live. I'm going to do a uh, trade adjustment for my uh, uh, trades. So it's a, uh, it's more of time. It's more of time. So uh, uh, yeah. So uh, the criteria I have already given you, ma. Okay. So. As long as 200, 300%, we should do some adjustments, which I already told you through our WhatsApp uh, private group, right? So uh, for those of you who are interested to get into my WhatsApp uh, private group, uh, you need to be a student. So going through my website, uh, going through my book, you can be a student and from there we will invite you to our uh, private WhatsApp group. So uh, apart from that, I would say, yeah, 300% is good. Lah. Especially, especially, you know, sometimes it's on that day. You know that you lost USD Japan, right? Well, I just showed you, right? Euro Japan, we lost also, <laughs> right? We lost too. And this pound USD is a uh, three hundred percent. Let's say lah, it's a three hundred percent profit. Meaning, uh, Euro, Euro, Japan lose hundred percent. Uh, USD Japan lose hundred percent. Uh, pound USD make 300%. If you minus it out 300 minus 200%, we still make a 100% profit on our risk. Okay, which means if you look at my, my account, it's roughly $200, $300 as my risk. So I make a 100 plus $200 plus my goal, I go and uh, close it. I'm happy. Most importantly is you got to be happy, right? You got to be happy. Right? Uh, yeah. Just to show you, uh, so, uh, Jeffrey is one of my students. So remember, there is a uh, five ways to get out of a trade. TP, time stop, manage stop. Uh, yes. Right. So uh, we will follow these five ways. Okay. We will follow these five ways. Whichever way, whichever way that you want. Okay. So this is inside my uh, online uh, masterclass. Uh, if you want, you can go through the trade management, money management modules, and you can actually um, uh, look at it and, and uh, go through it again if you're not sure okay but basically i would say the trade was managed pretty well okay uh pretty well so um pretty good uh, 
Do I still see pound USD going up and hitting, reaching TP? Definitely yes. Okay, definitely yes. If not, I won't. I, I won't put the TP. Right. Uh, but sometimes the circumstances, I cannot speak myself. You, I can go to the photo stepping machine and photo step and make double clone of me and one person look at the monitor and one person doing the Facebook live. Then maybe we won't get out already. Because I don't want later, I'm doing this and you guys were waiting for instructions from me and you guys miss the, uh, what if the price suddenly go the other way, right? Miss out 300%, right? So yeah, that's the main reason. Any other questions? Okay. If not, then maybe tomorrow I'll touch on some of the questions my students has asked me and i will do a very quick 10 20 minutes kind of thing and share with you uh, uh like how to do risk calculation or things like that uh i think about it uh, i choose one or two of the topics and uh hopefully not so long uh, i uh, i plan to do my facebook live only 30 minutes right so thank you any any last questions before i go okay because by the time I say this, it's like 30 seconds delay before you hear it and things like that. If not, uh, I, I want to thank all of you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you get uh, some value out of this. Uh, I hope that you you do know all the good thing and the bad thing about trading. If not, take a look at the earlier part of my uh, this Facebook Live and i uh, talk about the... These are some of the things that not many traders or trainers, uh, financial trainers out there willing to tell you about the bad things about trading, but these are the honest truth about trading, right? So thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you guys again, okay? Any questions, uh, I will try to, uh, those who are watching this, you're new to trading and you like to ask some questions and like to uh, learn from me for free through Facebook Live, ask the question in comments, in uh, my next few Facebook Live, I will take note of your comments or your questions and I will just answer them in my next Facebook Live. So every day, roughly 8 p.m., uh, at least once a day, I will do this, right? Uh, just to give back some of my knowledge I have acquired these 20 years. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys again. Thank you for attending. Your time is really something I appreciate a lot. Thank you for supporting. Thank you. Uh, remember to like, this page, this book, uh, this post, and even share my post so that more people know about the good and the bad about trading, right? So that uh, they will not just jump into trading thinking that it's very easy, right? So thank you so much. See you guys.